a new chapter is about time time is very important in our daily life we have a particular time to get up in the morning and also to go to bed we have a famous proverb about time time and time wait for no man in this chapter we are going to study how to read time in hours now let us look at a clock a clock has a dial or a frame with the numbers and two hands dear children this is a clock frame here you can see the numbers from 1 to 12 and two hands the long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand the hour hand moves from one number to the next in one hour that time the minute hand completes one round in one hour. if the minute hand points at turn and the hour hand points at 3 the time is 3 o'clock Three o'clock can be written as now. Another question: Can you say the time? Look here. The minute hand points at ten, and the hour hand points at seven. The time is seven o'clock. Now I will give another question. Look at the clock frame. The time given is five o'clock. You should draw the hands of the clock. How to draw? You know, the minute hand points at twelve, isn't it? So you can draw the minute hand. Look here. The time is five o'clock. So the hour hand points at five. Okay. Next time I will come with another topic. Thank you.